so for question number nine this is an equation of parabola an equation of x squared minus 4x minus 4y plus 8 equal to 0 represent a parabola determine the vertex focus and directrix of the parabola so determine the to determine the vertex focus and directrix we should have the equation in the, in the standard form so how to get the equation of parabola in the standard form we can apply the cts ah. so for question a we have x squared minus 4x so means that the x will have the square so we have to complete the square for the x so everything other than x we should re uh, rearrange and put it on the right side so what we have we will have the 4y minus 8 on the right side so the left side we have we can apply the cts so what we have here is x minus 2 all square minus of negative 2 square so equal to 4y minus 8 and then this is a constant negative 2 squared is equal to 4 so if we bring it to the left side to the right side because it's a constant right so we have 4y negative 8 plus 4 will be negative 4 so the equation is on the left side it should be on complete square on the right side the coefficient of y should be 1 so we have to factorize 4 out of each terms in the right side so factorize out 4 we have y minus 1 so from the equation here we can determine our vertex which is equal to 2 1 and then to get the focus we have to find the value of p so here we have a constant coefficient of 4 which is equal to 4 p so 4 p equal to 4 p is equal to 1 so we can find what is the focus so how to find the focus it's either changing the x coordinate or y coordinate by adding up by the value of p so for this uh, equation for this type of parabola which value that will be changing so because y is on the right side so we are changing the value of k lah. so it will be h and k plus p so 2 and 1 plus 1 so the focus is equal to 2 2 how about directrix because y is changing so it should be y the line y equal to something so what is the line y the line y equal to k1 minus p so minus 1 so the directrix is equal to y equal to 0 okay <clears throat> so this is our uh, parabola Okay, we have the vertex of 2, 1, the focus 2, 2, and the directrix y equal to 0. So, y changing means that the axis, the parabola have axis that parallel to y axis. So, our graph should be either smile or sad. For this one, because p is equal to 1, which is more than 0, it is a smile function. Ah. Smile with the mm, vertex 2, 1, focus to 2 and directrix equal to y equal to 0 which is the x axis okay now show that the tangent lines to the parabola at point a negative 2 5 and b 3 5 over 4 intersect at right angle so we have to find what is the tangent line first so how to find tangent line at the parabola tangent lines lines always equal to y equal to mx plus c so we need to find what is our m and what is our c so how to find the gradient of the parabola at a certain point okay we know gradient also known as dy dx right so we can apply implicit differentiation on the equation of parabola so we have x squared dx uh, x squared minus 4x minus 4y plus 8 equal to 0 as the equation of parabola if we differentiate everything with respect to x then we will have the the gradient which is the dy dx okay so differentiate everything here we get 2x minus 4 minus 4 dy dx plus 0 equal to 0 so let dy dx as the subject so we have dy dx equal to 4 minus 2x so divide by negative 4 it will be negative 1 plus x negative sorry 
bring everything for first negative 4 4 minus 2x divided by negative 4 so we have dy dx equal to negative 1 plus 1 over 2x so at point at point a which is negative 2 5 the gradient is equal to negative 1 plus 1 over 2 of negative 2 so we have negative 1 so equal to negative 2 but for point b which is equal to 3 5 over 4 the gradient is equal to negative 1 plus 1 over 2 of 3 so 3 over 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 so because we want to show that these two tangent lines intersect at right angle we don't have to find everything we just have to compare the angle uh, the gradient of the two lines so let's say this is ma this is mb so if it intersect at right angle means that the degree between the two line is 90 degree if 90 degree then we can we have to show that m a and b if we multiply it we get negative one so show that m a multiply with m b equal to negative two multiply with one over two which is equal to negative one so by right we can show we can say that it is intersect at right angle because it's perpendicular to each other so please do the conclusion for this situation so that's all for question number nine